this is the first demo of what I've been doing with um, OpenGL ES on the Pali. This is a um, emulation of a 1960s British computer called an Elliot 803. All we've got here so far is the operator's console at the front here and a, a reel of paper tape uh, at the back and that should be going into a tape reader. So let's start the real machine running. I'll just press some of these buttons to get it going and then I'll uh, zoom in and show you a bit, uh, a bit more close up. The noise you can hear is the uh, the correct noise for the machine running, that's been done with um, OpenMax IL. So let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go. So I've got a fairly normal 3D navigation, I can move forwards and backwards, left, right, and with another key on the keyboard pressed I've got pan and um, no, pan and tilt. All these buttons um, go up and down correctly so I can also unlock the crosshairs and drive the keys without moving the whole scene around which is quite useful. Um, got other keys, other, other uh, buttons over here, as you can see uh, toggles, and I can stop the machine and I can put it back into run mode again and then I have to come down here and press that and it started up again and you can see there's a couple of indicator lamps here that are flashing away, you see the overflow light there there's another one up here called block transfer it's flashing occasionally as well. Um, the image of the paper tape, the holes, possibly can't see them. Uh, the texture on the paper tape shows the holes and they're all uh, correct for the, the paper tape that it's reading. It's currently taking about 40% of the arm uh, to draw this. Most of that I suspect is it um, doing the calculations for um, removing the paper tape. There's a lot of um, that maths involved to draw that, that hanging curve 60 times a second. <laughs> um, but I'm not too worried about that because all the, all the complicated stuff is done now. The rest of the, uh, of the drawing of the rest of the scene should be, uh, should be fairly straightforward. Anyway, that'll keep uh, chunching away for about um, another uh, 10 minutes reading that reel of tape and then the program itself actually takes about a day and a half to run. <laughs> so we're not going to wait to see the results. Anyway, so there you go, you can see what I've been doing with, uh, with OpenGLES on the Raspberry Pi. The Pi, by the way, is uh, down here. There we go, in its um, Adafruit case.